random tag video. I decided since I have my face on and I'm making other videos, I'm just going to make a tag video while I'm here. This is random questions. I I don't even know how many questions there are. I've just copied and pasted. There's 20 questions. I've copied and pasted a bunch of tags into this text document. I haven't pre-looked through any of them. And so let's just get started. Who was your first crush and why? The first crush I can remember was this boy named Kenny when I was in first grade, something like that, kindergarten in Georgia. It was, oh God, I was so little. And I was a crazy little girl, I guess, because I don't know why I liked him. He was a little blonde boy. I just remember his name was Kenny and I... I was so obsessed with him. I even stole one of his books. He had this little book with his name, Kenny, written on it. And I was like, yes, this is Kenny's. And I took it and I got caught and got in trouble. And um, he uh, he liked this little girl named Penny. And everybody was like, Kenny and Penny sitting in a tree you know, and all that stuff. And I had these little fantasies about, you know, those, I don't know if today's generation knows, but back in the day where we were, there were these metal pipes like that, big metal pipes that kids could just crawl through and crawl over and play with. Maybe it's just my playground, but I had so many fantasies about locking her in there and starving her and just torturing her because she dared to take my Kenny away from me. Like I was pretty twisted, even though I was really young. Uh, what is your most embarrassing memory? I have a lot of embarrassing memories, actually, but nothing, nothing really pops straight in my head. I guess, okay, first thing that popped in my head just now, probably not my most embarrassing, but one of, is uh, I was walking home from school one day, and I was probably about in the eighth grade, ninth grade before I dropped out, and I was on my period, and it's too much information, sorry. I bleed a lot, so I can't just wear one pad. I have to wear a pad and then another pad and then maternity pads. So I have to bundle them up like this so it goes complete front to complete back because I will bleed. And I'll still overflow that usually about an hour. I'll go through a 10 pack of maternity pads. I'll go through a pack and a half in one three day period. So that's about how much I bleed. So I was towards the end of my period, but I still had the pads on, walking home, wearing shorts, and I had all these cars honking at me and I was like, you know, cause back then I was really skinny and I always got cars honking at me and trying to pick me up. And so I just thought it was just that. And then I started feeling something smacking me in the back of the knee and I looked down and my pads had slipped out and they were hanging there just for the world to see and just hitting me on the back of the leg. And I had no clue. And that was mortifying. So that was pretty embarrassing. Number three, what is the stupidest thing you've ever done when you were drunk? I don't know. Texting people? Drunk texting? I, I'm usually drunk at home or drunk clubbing. Getting drunk in public in a cage and then passing out like this and having someone steal your rings off your fingers kind of sucked. But that wasn't necessarily stupid. Just drinking to the point of blacking out in public? I guess that's pretty stupid. What's the worst thing you've ever stolen? In my past, I've stolen a lot of stuff, so I couldn't say what's worse, the worst thing, but the worst situation I probably shouldn't have stolen in was when I was a nanny. Uh, when I first had Dorian, the lady I lived with, she was kind of a bitch and massively underpaid me. No, she didn't even pay me. I lived there for board and I had to clean and I had to cook and I had to take care of five kids and my own son. And I just kind of was over it, I guess. And I stole this ring from her and I pawned it and I got caught because I was really ignorant and stupid and I didn't realize that they could track it. And I didn't think that she'd even notice it missing. I only got like 20 bucks for it. And what I did when I got caught was I blamed this guy, this older man that was like stalking me and hounding me, I blamed him for it. And I said that I did it to frame him, to get him off my back or I forgot what I said, but I didn't really get into trouble for it though. I did have to move out. That was pretty dumb. I was 19. 
What's your guilty pleasure? Probably some of the music I like. I don't really have guilty pleasures because none of it makes me guilty. None of it makes me ashamed. I just like what I like. I like some Enrique Iglesias songs like Bolly Most. <laughs> uh, I like a couple of Britney Spears songs and a, that Genie in a Bottle from Christina Aguilera. I guess those are things most people would be ashamed of. Not really into that kind of music, but I like a little bit of everything out there. And people are like, eh, but you're goth. You're not supposed to like that. But I do anyway, so I guess you could say that's my guilty pleasure. What's the worst thing your parents have caught you doing? They haven't actually caught me doing anything because my parents weren't really around. But they've caught porn in my room. Like I used to steal porn from my brother and hide it. I'd take out a drawer and put it on the floor under the drawer. And I thought I was really clever. And I'd go in and look for it and it would be gone. So I guess I wasn't that smart. Seven, what would you do if your parents caught you having sex? I would probably freak the hell out. I've never been caught having sex by my parents. When I first came here, my ex's dad walked in and caught us. He didn't knock. No doors here have locks on them. And he was on top of me. And I was under the covers. And his dad just opened the door and said, are you guys coming out for dinner? And I was like, oh my fucking God. And my ex is just there, bare ass, just be there in a minute and from then on they knocked which was awesome but I wanted to hide away and he said no if we hide away it'll make it even more obvious that we got caught so just go out there and act like everything's normal and so I had no choice and I did and that was super hard why did you break up with your last girlfriend boyfriend the last person I specifically broke up with was this fuckhead CJ I dumped him before he dumped me. We got back together again and he dumped me the second time. But the first time I dumped him and it was because that fucking asshole, we went through a lot. I'm totally not going to get into the everything in this video, of course, but he tricked me into getting his name tattooed on me. That's what I have under the spider. And um, when I got it, I, I told him because he said that he got my name tattooed on him and it was a big surprise. He didn't want me to see it until... It was healed and blah, blah, blah. And I scheduled an appointment to get his name on me because he was going to fly down here and live with me. We were going to get married and all that stuff. And I said, I will book an appointment. But if you didn't get it, because I just had a bad feeling, I said, please, please don't let me get this tattoo. I won't be mad. Just please don't let me get it. It's, it's a fucking tattoo for fuck's sake. It's not like I just scribbled it in marker. And he's like, no, no, I got it. I love you. You're going to love it. Please get it. And so I got it. And then he didn't really say like, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to show you yours. He just kind of like got more distant. And I was like, oh my God, don't tell me you didn't get it. And then finally it came out that he didn't get it. But he, before I found out that he didn't get it, he just started being more and more distant. I couldn't get a hold of him. He wasn't online. He wasn't answering his phone. He wasn't doing anything. And I just said, you know what? You're just playing with my head. You're playing with my heart. I can't take it. I can't do this anymore. And so I just, I just called it off. And within like not even two weeks, he was crawling back to me. I'm so sorry. I miss you. But he was a total fuckwit. And so that's why I dumped him because he's a piece of shit. Number nine, what keeps you up at night? I don't know. My mind, my brain is always going like this. And so I have a hard time relaxing and I, I quite often can't get to sleep. I can't sleep very much gone are the days that I could sleep so much that I wake up and not even know what day it is. Now I'm like, uh, and I wake up and it's been three hours. And I'm like, oh no, I want to go back to sleep, but I can't. Number 10, if you were the opposite sex for a day, what would you do? I would jerk off all day long. Completely honestly, I would jerk off. I would try to suck my own dick. I'd want to have sex. I want to have a blow job to know why guys like it so much. Number 11, what's your dirty little secret? I have lots of dirty little secrets. I have dirty big secrets. Not dirty, but bad. Not sexual, just bad. And um, I'm not going to mention them here because they're really bad. And I will get, you know, I will get completely harassed. So 
yeah, let's just leave it at that. I do have some skeletons in my closet, things that people, only my ex and Logan and Dorian know, but uh, yeah. Number 12, what are you most afraid of? I have three, four things that I'm really afraid of, but I'll list my top five just to even it out. One is losing my hair, which is happening because of my surgery. Two is losing my teeth. I'm terrified of losing my teeth. Uh, three is going blind, which I'm already legally blind, so that's that sucks. My goal is to get LASIK, but $3,000 per eye, I don't see how that's ever going to happen. Four is losing Logan, having him die or leave me. Five is losing Dorian, having him die because he doesn't take care of himself. He will live on junk food, run out in front of traffic. He just doesn't really seem to understand that he could be killed or he could die or get sick. He just doesn't care. Those are in no particular order, by the way. They're just my top five. Would you still love your partner if he or she gained 100 pounds? Yes, I would. I might not like the way he looks, but I would still love him. I just, it's the attitude that turns me off. If you turn into a dick, I'll hate you. You could be hot as hell, but be an asshole, and I won't want to be with you. It's happened. <laughs> Are you a virgin? No, I have a 21-year-old. 15, what's the stupidest thing you've done to impress someone? Um... Hmm. I've, oh, I've taken back in the days before computers, before people just had computers in their house, I would take, uh, pictures and, um, take pictures of other girls and mail them to my boyfriends. Cause I, when I was younger, I had lots and lots of boyfriends, but they weren't real boyfriends. They were like, people I'd meet on the phone or something. Can I have your phone number? Okay, you're my boyfriend. And then, I don't know, we'd talk all the time, but we'd never really got to see each other because my parents were dicks and didn't let me out. But I've given boyfriends pictures of girls that I've found. I don't even know where the hell I would have found these pictures, but I found these pictures of these girls and they hadn't seen me enough to know that that didn't look like me. And I'd be like, that's me. And I'd send these pictures to these guys and they think it was me and be like totally in love with me and showing these pictures to their friends. And I don't know why I ever thought telling them I was somebody else was good, but it worked. And I was really popular though, not for being me, which is really weird. Even though they met me at least once as me, I figured it was their fault for not remembering what I look like, but then I didn't remember what they look like. So I don't know. It was a big mess. Anyway, 16. If you're a girl, have you ever kicked a guy in the balls? If so, explain your reason why. Yes, I have. And it was quite a bitchy thing to do. Pretty ashamed of it. I was at a concert with, I don't know who I was with. I don't know which concert it was. I was at a concert and I used to be like one of those girls that was always in the mosh pit and like the bouncers would come and try to push me away and protect me. And like, I don't want to be protected. I want to be in the front. And so I'd be in the front or right on the edge of the mosh pit and there was this guy and he was like bouncing around, just really just running and running and running. And it was pretty empty. There wasn't a lot of people in there. It was just him running around like a fucking moron, but like a drunk, not just like, yeah, I'm having fun. He was like this drunken idiot, like pushing other people and running around. And he stopped right in front of me to watch the band and he faced away and I just reared back and kicked him as hard as I could right in the balls. And he didn't even really react, so it must have been on something. And then when he started going again, I reached out and grabbed his shirt, and I just ripped his shirt right down the back. And, like, I mean, I was, like, 17, 18, tops 19 when I did it. And at the time, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, yeah, he fucking deserved it. I was a big bitch when I was younger. But now I'm like, oh, God, I feel so bad for that. 17. Have you ever loved someone who hasn't loved you back? Yes, for sure. They have told me they've loved me and I've believed them. But then in the end, their actions proved to me that they obviously didn't love me because if they did, we would still be together. 18. If your guy wore article of women's clothing, would you like to wear or what have you wore? I am not a guy, so I'm going to skip that. 19. Have you ever had a gay best friend? I have in El Paso. Um, Juan's like my best friend 
Geo, but Geo doesn't count anymore because he's a girl now. Um, I I used to really love gay guys, like they were my buddies long before the whole oh I'm gay, I'm lesbian, I'm bisexual, I have all my gay BFFs. It's like I I just they loved me because I was outrageous, like they were with the way I looked, and I loved them because they were just so much fun and. They were the most open-minded and accepting and understanding people I ever came across. And I just loved all the gay people and they were like my best friends. 20. Have you ever fancied someone you shouldn't? Yeah. Um, in my past, I've, I was, I was actually engaged to this guy named Chris and he had a brother named Mike and his brother was hot and it didn't work out between us and I was glad because I knew the way that I was back then I would have tried something with his brother and I would have just fucked everything up I've dated brothers and best friends and things like that I, I had a pretty shady past now most of these were on not online but like on the phone you know somehow I'd meet people on the phone and develop these relationships it's really odd and I can't explain how it ever worked but I'd have 18, 19, 20 boyfriends, 11 boyfriends, all kinds of stuff in the past, but there were never anybody I actually hung out with, met, or in person with. But I just, I don't know, I always had a wandering eye, and like I always wanted to feel like I was special. Like, I want to be wanted, and anybody that wanted me, I wanted back because they made me feel wanted, because I always felt like a big nobody. If that makes any sense, it's probably my BPD that's fucked with me all this time, but that, that'll be what it was. And, um, yeah, that's probably the, the most I've had a crush on my teacher when I was in high school, who didn't, I ended up kind of dating his brother, but I was really hot for the younger brother. It's like the three of them were, were good looking, but, um, the middle brother was really sweet and we never like the extent of our dating was we'd drive around in his car or and he would hold my hand or we'd walk up and down the street and talk and hold hands like real innocent stuff we never even made out never had sex nothing like that so um yeah guess this wraps up this one uh I probably gave away a bit too much information in this not a slut wasn't a slut i did slutty things but i didn't actually like go through with the to have sex with a bunch of people or anything like that but it was fun anyway so i might make another one because i have like a body modification one that I'm looking at and I'm like, woo! So I'm gonna go make that one now and I'll see you guys soon.